Aisha and I work on multiple sclerosis. Our brain is a very precious organ because it is orchestrating our vital functions, our cognitive activity and also our emotions. We could not survive a day without it. So to protect it from any harm, it is kept like a fortress by a very powerful army, our immune system. This system patrols the blood and pursues pathogens that are invading the brain to stop them from damaging its precious neurons. But even better, in order to avoid that these pathogens can go much further than the drawbridge, our brain disposes of its private group of local field agents. What are these agents exactly? They are called tissue-resident memory ciliate T-cells, codename TRM. And they are soldiers that live directly within the brain, which allows them to react immediately when they see an infected cell and eliminate it. In multiple sclerosis, the entire army is turned. So instead of being protective, the patrolling soldiers, as well as the local field agents, turn against healthy neurons. And so they can severely affect the patient's vital functions. The TRM play a particularly deleterious role because of their privileged access to the neurons, which allows them to chronically destroy the fortress from inside, and this even if the drawbridge is already up. To date, the majority of the treatments do only hinder the patrolling army to enter the brain, but they do not affect the TRM. So despite an initial very strong therapeutic benefit, they lose their effect over time. And we think that this is due to the fact that the unaffected field agents can get stronger and can finally become as powerful as a whole invading army. Luckily, these TRMs have a vulnerability because we know now that they are hiding in very specific tissue niches and that they cannot survive outside of these areas, which indicates that they depend on essential localized survival factors. Unfortunately, for now, not much is known about the nature of these factors and how the cells perceive them. This is why in my project, I use a mouse model to characterize the TRMs and how they interact with their brain niche. And thereby, I hope to identify receptors they use to perceive their survival signals. How do I do this? I treat the TRM with different inhibitors that are blocking the expression of these receptors. And then I check if this will prevent the TRM from surviving in the brain. By identifying these essential receptors, I hope to contribute to the development of new drugs that are finally attacking the TRM headquarters and taking away their resources.